Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm so excited to show you what came today. So I sent a message to John Bede Company and letting them know that I'd love to do a collaboration and they responded and said yes. So I'm so excited they sent me. I was not expecting this massive <laughs> box. It's like, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> so I thought we'd go through it, but I just want to take take a little time at the beginning to mention something so when I contacted them I knew about John Bede in the sense that um, I knew they were a wholesaler and that they had that they were in Toronto so of course I grew up in Toronto um, I'm now in Nova Scotia but anyway um, because they're a wholesaler I'd go to their site and I'd try to order stuff but of course I I don't have a uh, like a business number or tax number and stuff like that so anyway I was trying to figure out a way that I could get connected with them in some way to let them know that I love promoting companies that have the same kind of uh, idea that I do about beading and about people and stuff so I'm a retired nurse and I started doing this bead channel when COVID happened and, and I just I also want to thank you as my subscribers were just about to hit 28,000 subscriptions and <clears throat> It's been an amazing thing to have that throughout COVID. I find that the beading community online is incredible. People people know each other and they communicate through the comments as well as sending me emails and stuff like that. So it's really lovely and I know some of the other big beaters and I've had support from other big beaters and other stores like Potomac Beads and Art Beads and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys and just to let you know that I will be doing some giveaways soon and um, some really spectacular ones as well. And um, I'm going to also show you how to kind of maneuver through the friends and family site that John Bead has. So that's kind of like an announcement here. They have a new site that you can order. So if you, you're not a business, whatever, just as a as an individual beater, you can order stuff. And they have these wonderful creative kits. Now, I did not, I opened this and I saw the pink <laughs> tissue and I saw one item and then I went and looked it up. They have incredible stuff on that site. I will be doing a different video just on that site to talk to you very like soon after as soon as I finish this video I'll be doing that one and release it right away because they have an incredible announcement to make on their site that you're going to want to know about before Monday. So just saying. So let's move on. This is like take away too long. <laughs> I just want to take the opportunity to thank everybody at John B. This is so wonderful that you did this. Like even the card has these gorgeous crystals and flowers. I was like, this is like so perfect. I love flowers and I love crystals. So they sent me a beautiful thank you card. And um, just to let you know about... The, the kind of what I was getting at with John Beads is um, <clears throat> after I talked to them and they said, yeah, we'd love to do a uh, collaboration. I turned I, I turned off my tablet and I looked at my desk and I was shocked. I had like 10 bead containers with John Bead on it. And I was like, well, wait, how much stuff do I have? So John Bead is available everywhere. So they're available on Amazon. Um, they're available on their John Bead site as well. They also have a warehouse uh, location that's available uh, to the public to come and visit. I'll put those things in the links. So if you're interested or if you're in Toronto or if you're visiting Toronto, you, you have to put that on the list to go see that store. And, um, and now this site that's called John Bead Friend and Family and yeah so let's, let's 
Let's see what's in the box. Oh, and I wanted to thank uh, Millie and Carmi for sure. So I had talked to Carmi initially, and then she asked Millie to get this together for me and the marketing team. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I want to thank the John Bede family because, like I said, I didn't realize I had all this stuff here in Canada that if it wasn't for them, I don't know if I would have that stuff. I I have stuff that I ordered through Art Beads that's like John Bead on everything. And the other place that's available is Michael's. And I did notice I went to look at Michael's the other day just to, to check what was available. They have a, a whole bunch of new stuff from John Bead. There are some of the kits and some really incredible beads. Delicas are available there. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll talk a little bit more about that when I do the uh, their website video. So let's take a look. <laughs> the pink. So <laughs> Carmi asked me what I wanted. There was one bead in particular I saw a design from Preciosa. And I thought that would be so cool to do. And then like an eight-year-old, I'm like, I like pink. <laughs> Wait till you see the pink. So this is just the beginning. Oh, my God. What? Let me take this out a bit. This is crazy. I have not... I did... I pulled this out and I saw this, but I closed it right up. So, so I would be surprised as you. So they have these kits on their site. John Bead Friend and Family. And they have... You can print off the instructions and you can also link it to the video that's available on YouTube to show you how to make the design. So I think this is brilliant and I love that the packaging is nice and compact and not like a whole bunch of like plastic tubes and containers and stuff. It's like, you know, it everything is right there and you can put it in the containers you want or how you want to do it but here's the other thing is it says that you can do this is for a pair of earrings that you can do a pair of earrings with this kit but if you look there's six of these um dangly things yeah six which would mean six earrings uh let me see there's one two three four five, six of the ear wires. Um, I'm thinking maybe six. You could do some other stuff if you run out of beads. And like, this is incredible. I'm stunned that you get a whole thing of beading thread. Uh, just incredible. What a, an amazing design and awesome. Oh, and of course the QR code so you can scan that and uh, I think this might take you, it either takes you to the website or to the YouTube video. I, have to, I haven't tested it yet, but let's move on. Um, I'm trying to decide how to, how to proceed. <laughs> it's not even my birthday. I'm like totally blown away. I cannot believe. Whew. I'm, I'm getting, uh, I'm hyperventilating. So, as a to kind of celebrate it <laughs> I did get my pink bead mat out um yeah let's do it this way so I'll grab stuff and then you can kind of see it here so yeah this is the first one here that's incredible so it's, yeah you know what I'm going to move it off to the side because we're going to do a little array of stuff <laughs> the guard there I was stunned when I saw these two. I'm I feel like they were reading my mind. I have been looking for larger jump rings that are this delicious. These are amazing. I want to open these, man. Oh, wow. Some heavy duty. I actually... I cleared out a container for them, but I don't know where I put it. Let me grab two. So I hope everybody's doing well. 
the fumblers here and the Olympics are on. Oh, wow. This is, I'm sure I could get them to fit. I usually put these in those little round diamond shaped containers. Oh, these are amazing. These are really substantial jump rings. I love that they're they're flat like that. You get some online that are really junky and they they cross over and there's burrs in them. They're not even. So these are beautiful. I should um, hang on to this so I know that it's a eight millimeter. I'm trying to avoid the uh, the staple. I'll I'll label those properly after. These are amazing. Kumihimo finding kits. What? Oh, let's reduce this here. This is amazing. So I've been looking at some of the Kumihimo designs and think I think it's time to do some Kumihimo. I got to a certain point with it where I could do it, but then I, there were certain things I wanted to do and there wasn't a lot of information out there on how to do them. So definitely, uh, I feel like sometimes I reflect on those things and then go back to it and I figure it out. So here is some bamboo toggle class. Antique gold. These are lovely. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know I take things out of the bags. When, when I'm done the video, I do go back and I organize them. So don't stress. Here are some lobster class, 15 millimeters. Oh, and they come with the little, uh, I guess the connecting part of it. show you what I'm talking about. Some of them they just come the toggle right so this has the this is awesome sweet oh look six mil jump rings let me grab another two just double checking to see I know I these are the containers I'm talking about like I label them and stuff but for some reason I can't find it this, so this is 152 pieces and let's see if it says the gauge. Oh. Again, these are really nice. Okay. Oh. There's more. These are the just says miscellaneous. They look like a four millimeter. I have a small tube. There. 
So these were the ones that I asked about. Um, this is, there's three strands here and we're going to make an incredible bracelet with these. We're going to, it's going to look like Kumihimo, but they're so much simpler and these are stunning. So let's take a look. That's amazing. So there's 25 of them on a strand. Oh, this is going to be incredible. I think I picked the right color. So these are um, engraved pips, 9 by 14. Black, opaque, amber, full, one strand. These are glorious. These are so beautiful. Can you imagine? That's what we're going to make with this one. There's these. These mushroom beads are adorable. As they, as the young kids say, totes adorbs. I should make a bunch of stuff for the uh, lifeguards with these. Um, I, one year I made um, chokers, like summer chokers with different beads, but there was mushroom beads on it. And then the idea was you, you, get little creatures or designs like stars and stuff like that on that choker to represent you. I don't know what that noise is, but it doesn't sound good. So these are lovely and pink <laughs> with some Dalmatian ones. These here. These are incredible. So some of these you could probably get at Michael's. I they kind of look familiar. Um, this one here is Crystal Lane Do It Yourself Flower Seven in Seven Inch Bead Strand Pink Rose Fourteen Millimeter Four Piece Tulip Seven by Ten and Five Piece Flower Thirteen by uh, Five Pieces. These are lovely look at that so you've got the rose i'm just looking at the good the the kind of um, neon pink that's coming through this rose that's incredible and then you have these little like they look like the little um lily of the valley flowers and then there's a little flower here uh probably i forget what they call those and then like a poppy these are beautiful definitely i actually have something i'm gonna make with these already <laughs> that's gonna be fun i've been wanting to do a garden bracelet forever and just never got around to it then we have, oh, these are so lovely. <laughs> these are gorgeous. Look at that. Then we have, so these I get at Michael's, these, because I recognize the way the tubes are. You know what? <laughs> In a previous unboxing video, I was talking about bead accidents, and I forgot about this one. So when I first started beading, I had no clue how these tubes worked. So I would put them in a tray standing up like this, and one day I went and I picked this part up, and this piece came off, and all the beads were all over the place. Now, I open them this way, like that, so much better. I was opening this piece and I couldn't figure out why it was so hard to open. It's because you're supposed to open it from the bottom. 
They're lovely. Oh, look at these. Crystal Lane. Check beads. Oh, <laughs> look. I have to touch them. So there's some bicones, some disco balls, different sizes. Oh, the teeny tiny. This would be like one whole bracelet. Oh, and some drops. <gasps> Pair of earrings. Oh, look at this. This is crazy. You could totally do a bracelet with these. And then a pair of earrings with the drops. And the colors are beautiful. Let's put those there. Let's put our little pretties there so we can admire them. Ah, oh, look at these. I'm going to drive my wife nuts. I'm making a stretch bracelet with these and I'm going to wear them everywhere. Oh, these are so, I cannot believe the light that's coming off of these. These would be lovely in a uh, sun catcher too. People have been asking me to do a sun catcher and you know what? I would love to do it, but I need to have a, like a visual in my head of what it's going to look like. So I've been doing some research on Pinterest. I haven't come up with anything that struck me yet. But <laughs> these are like the perfect beads. Uh, 15 pieces, 8 millimeter. Wow. I wonder if I can get this. Let's do this. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Billy. <laughs> I cannot believe these. Uh, these are hilarious. I, you know what? I'm squeezing them because I feel like they're going to be squishy. Gummy bear strand. You know what? I am like crazy. When neon came out, I was just starting nursing school and I had like a neon pink um, sweatshirt that I used to wear all the time and the patients would love it. <laughs> These teachers didn't like it so much. I'm like, yeah, so who's going to who's going to care if the patients like it? Yeah, I got in trouble for that actually. <laughs> These are incredible. I can't believe it. These are so hilarious. You know, it's funny. I'm talking about um when fluorescent colors came out and clothing and stuff like that. That was in the 90s. The other thing was, I remember when we first got gummy bears in Canada. And I'm trying to think. I, I'm tr I think me and my sister Sylvia used to get them all the time. These are hilarious. So, big question. When you eat your gummy bears, do you bite their heads off first? That would be mean. Don't do that. Where are we going to put these? It's like you're not going to see anything else. You're going to see. Whoosh, whoosh. I think we'll put them off to the side. Let them sleep for a little longer. There's the more beads. There's. Oh my gosh. Millie. Look at these. So this looks like. This is 8 0. And these must be 11s. I didn't even. I'm, I'm so. 10s. I'm so distracted. <laughs> I'm like missing the important information. And these ones are a mixture. Dazzle it. I, you know what? My wife and I haven't traveled since COVID. I had a bunch of surgeries through COVID. And um, so I isolated the whole time. And uh, I think it's time we plan a trip to Toronto and if we do I will see if I get permission to do a, some video in the store <laughs> just go crazy some more Kumihimo uh, caps oh this is lovely. 
These are, I, you know what, I, I have some caps that are meant for Kumihimo, but they're not like specifically for Kumihimo. So they're kind of like this. They're a little more rounded and they have a hole in the middle. They're very um, thin and cheap, right? But these are just lovely. Some bygoats, preciosa. So if you're wondering, um, people ask me all the time because I'm kind of like the the Swarovski freak <laughs> YouTuber. I just love Swarovski. <laughs> but I have been, since they no longer offer uh, their products to the uh, handmade market, I've gotten preciosas and they are stunning so definitely comparable so you should check it out so I have to tell you funny story so I joke all the time about I wish the Swarovski family would adopt me <laughs> but you know what I'm so glad <laughs> that the John Bean family adopted me because <laughs> look at all these goodies <laughs> they never talked to me Swarovski <laughs> Look at these. So let me see if I, again, I got so distracted. These ones, if it says the color, eight millimeter, light rose. Oh, look at that. And then the crystal Aurora Borealis. These are lovely. And then let me see, I'm pretty sure I'm, you know, mispronouncing. I call them disco balls. They are Czech crystal beads, six millimeter light rose. Wow. That is cool. Oh my gosh, you guys totally outdid yourselves. I was not expecting this at all. Oh, <gasps> look at these. These are pretty. Tano pink silver lined. These are gorgeous. Okay, I wonder if it's the same you pull the bottom off. So we have to take a look for sure. <laughs> look at that. These are gorgeous. So I will be making some videos using these components. So if you have any suggestions, by all means, let me know. I am always open to suggestions. Then we have miscellaneous. These are lovely topaz. Some of them are frosted. Oh, look at these. These are so lovely. I'm kind of, I'm at a loss for words right now. In case you're wondering, that's unusual for Emma. Oh, oh, I've been wanting some of these. I, you know what? I feel like it's my birthday. I'm like, mommy, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Two by eight millimeter Preciosa tea beads, crystal amber, double sided. Of course, we're opening them. Oh, look at it. Wow, these are so beautiful. Wow. I, I've got to um, get out my designs for these. Wowzer. Then we have <laughs> ginkgos, the um, 
crystal full VTech, I think it's VTrail. <laughs> so we should do <laughs> commemorate the uh, mermaid scales bracelet again with these because that's what this color looks like to me like fish scales it's getting hot in my office because I closed the window and I was like supposed to get the fan out and didn't then we have Ooh, diamonds. Matubo Czech gem duos. Crystal Capri gold. These are lovely. So this is their, um, where, I, I'm pretty sure this is where their uh, warehouse is. And there's like a, a store that's open to the public. These are lovely. Let me see if I have a big tube for this. Of course I do. <laughs> Look at these. So the one sh side is the shiny. And then the other side is the reflective. And it's two holes. So I have a bunch of designs using these two hole beads. So we'll have to come up with a new design. Oh my gosh. 100 grams. Wow. I am speechless. Let's open this. I think we need another tube here. Okay, I'm going to. I'm breaking into my new stash of tubes. So if you're wondering, I get these tubes on Amazon. From a specific seller if you're interested let me know they just switched from the um the metal caps to these plastic caps which i have no like doesn't bother me one way or the other um it's what's inside that's important <laughs> it sounds like your mother honey it's what's inside that matters I think we're going to need a second one. Yeah, look. Right. These, so in case you're wondering, these are 50 gram tubes. Cha. Glad I brought a couple up. I'm trying to figure out a way to, um, reorganize my beads with these tubes. If you have any ideas, let me know. So let's take a look. So the one side is clear. These are beautiful leaf. And they are, I'm looking for the holes. So, so the, the holes go from top to bottom. <gasps> these are going to be amazing. Oh, we are so going to do something with these. So they have like the, that kind of, they call it vitrail color. And there's pinks, orange, green, yellows. That is lovely. These are candy beads. Oh, these are lovely. So look at these. So the one side, the flat side is silver. 
and then the it's kind of like a um, foil on the back two hole and these <laughs> incredible reflective colors wow yeah I think this I'm kind of hooked on the two hole beads I'm I'm looking at these and I'm looking at the uh, the the uh, gem duos there's so much you can do with it I find especially something like this being the focal and then because there's two holes you can kind of bring things out to the side like that and then bead along that edge so yeah there's tons of stuff we can do with these guys you know what I want to display the John bead name here what? Okay. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have I do not have any neon pink super duos. <laughs> oh my gosh. They sent me three tubes. I think I need to share. There's no way I'd go through. Maybe I would. Um Yeah, so these are awesome. Wow, you know this is a, a long unboxing. My wife just got back from her bike ride. <gasps> these are beautiful. Oh my god, these totes of dorbs. I, I feel like the camera's not picking up the, how neon these are. That is incredible. That's crazy. And then look, the more pink. Permalux dye chalk pink matte. I just ordered some of these from uh, the Northern Bead Company. And uh, the lights. I'm surprised that it's uh, the light is creating shadows. I had, I got that fixed. And I think it's right here on my desk. But I just ordered a. A tiny bit and I started a design with it that's right I did uh, you know what I moved it over to my other desk these are gorgeous so let's take a look <laughs> these to me are summer colors too these are beautiful Levinos thank you so much to the family John bead I am so excited to I'm, I feel honored, honestly, to be a part of this. I, I get so excited when I hear the story of Betsy and Fritz, how they came to Canada from the Czech Republic and all the wonderful things that they created in Canada and offered to Canadians. It, it touches my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you, Millie and Carmi. <laughs> this is like very overwhelming. I'm just stunned. We are going to have some fun with these things. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will put all the information in the description. Don't forget, I'm going to very quickly do another video to talk to you about friends and family, John Bead friends and family website and what is coming on that on Monday. It's big. <laughs> you want to check it out for sure. <laughs> Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.